I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Destin, Florida with the folks at Roballo Boats and I'm on a brand new R227. It's set up for fishing, set up for skiing, and set up for beach combing. You're going to love this boat. Before I walk you through it though, take a look at the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with a Yamaha F200 outboard. Our test prop was a 14 and 3 quarter by 15 inch Reliance SDS stainless steel. We had a test load of 180 pounds of passengers and 30 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 41.7 miles per hour at 5,900 RPM. Our time to plane was 3.8 seconds and our time to 30 miles per hour was 8 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 21 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM, burning 5.6 gallons of fuel per hour. Now this is a full featured boat and the helm station is no exception. I love this heavy duty stainless steel three spoke wheel. It tilts, give you ideal angles for operation. I love the Yamaha gauges here. They're electronic and they give you everything including your RPMs, your fuel, your speed, and your fuel burn so that you can manage your engine for optimum mileage. Control switches are easily accessible on either side and you'll notice that the gear shift and throttle falls easily into hand. Now the skipper gets a bucket seat with a flip up bolster. It's ideally positioned for sit down driving but flip up the bolster and you're ready for stand up driving at the dock. Now one of the nice advantages to the dual console is it's built with the same rugged saltwater construction that makes it so easy to care for, but it has comfort features like the bow seating here with bolsters all the way around. You can equip it with a center cushion here and that'll make it a large playpen or sunning area. I like the fact that the port side console has a head compartment and take a look at this. In the starboard console you've got this great tackle storage. Now walk back with me. Now you can see that the cockpit of this boat is ideally equipped for fishing or for water sports. You've got an optional tow pylon and as you can see this boat's equipped with the wakeboard tower as well. Behind the starboard seat you've got a live well for your fishing but when you're cruising you've got this great lounge seat. Now watch this. When you're ready to battle the fish, it quickly tucks away and opens up the cockpit for the fight. On the port side, you've got a back-to-back -back ski observer chair and that stretches out for sunning as well. When it's time to reboard, you've got a walk-through transom and a reboarding ladder that's easily accessible from in the water. Other great features for fishing include the tow rails here for getting positive footing while you're gaffing a fish. I like the combing pads that ease the fight and you've got rod hangers underneath both gunnels. For trolling, there's rod holders on each gunnel. You have plenty of room at the stern to add shotgun rod holders if you wish. The Rabalo 227 has everything you want for a day of coastal exploring, water sports, or hardcore fishing. I'm Randy Vance. This is the R227 from Rabalo. It's time for me to take it for another spin.